Hello everyone. Welcome to today's tutorial where I'm going to be covering how to practice a brand new scale. And the scale I have chosen to demonstrate is B minor melodic or B melodic minor. In the, um, the screen there where you see the music, it shows B harmonic minor. So I just want to preface that it's, I'm going to be doing B melodic minor for the piano Olympics. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find out all the key signature notes, or rather all the notes affected by the key signature. Okay? So B melodic minor has a different set of sharps going up and a different set of sharps going down. So going up, we have C sharp with three, F sharp with four, G sharp with three, A sharp with two. I want you to go through this ritual of reviewing the fingerings and the sharps or flats that they play before you even play the entire scale. So I'm going to do that. 3 on C sharp, 4 on F sharp, 3 on G sharp, 2 on A sharp, 3 on C sharp, 4 on F sharp, 3 on G sharp, 2 on A sharp. Okay? And now I'm going to play the scale very slowly. Now what does very slowly mean? Very slowly means taking as much time as you need to play the correct notes and to have enough time to think about the correct notes and the fingerings that play them. So many of my students rush through scales where they play the whole scale trying to play it steady and they end up playing the wrong notes with the wrong fingerings and all of a sudden you have like a B minor slash G major F major <laughs> uh, Frankenstein scale okay so you don't want that so I'm gonna play the scale and I'm actually gonna call out the sharps with the finger numbers as I play okay that's a really key piece of advice that will help you in your scales okay especially new scales so three on C sharp four on F sharp three on G sharp two on A sharp Let's say I make a mistake. Let's say I put three on F sharp when it's supposed to be four. Okay, I'm gonna practice a mini drill right away, five times before I even try the whole scale again. So what you're not gonna do is return to the beginning of the scale. You're gonna practice from where you made the mistake. So the mistake was made with um, three on F sharp. So I'm gonna start right on one on E, and I'm gonna say four on F sharp. 3 on G sharp, 2 on A sharp, 1 on B. The mini drill is maximum 5 notes long, okay? And I would do that 5 times. I'm going to just demonstrate 2 times. 1 on E, 4 on F sharp, 3 on G sharp, 2 on A sharp, 1 on B. So let's pretend I did that 5 times. Now I'll do the scale again, okay? 3 on C sharp, 4 on F sharp, 3 on G sharp, 2 on A sharp, 1 on B, 3 on C sharp, 4 on F sharp, 3 on G sharp, 2 on A sharp. Okay, I, I realize I'm not singing in tune, so just bear with me. Now, when you feel 90% confidently about playing the scale, you're going to try to play it steadily without saying the sharps, okay? So, I'm not going to increase the speed, I'm going to play at the same speed that I just played right now. And notice I'm just doing the ascending version of the scale. Okay, now, if you've watched my tutorial on how to practice a piece, this step is going to be similar to one of the steps in that tutorial, which is to tap the tempo that you just played that, okay? Ba, da, 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 da. So it's about 59. I'm gonna turn that on. I'm gonna count one measure before I play, okay? Two, three, four.
stop. Okay. Now, if you've played it 90% confidently, or better yet, 95% confidently, you can go up by 10%. So 10% of 59, let's say it's 10% of 60, is 6. So I'm going to go up to 65. I'm going to do it again. So this is my first tempo increase, or my second correct attempt. Okay? One, two, three, four. So if you play that 95% correctly, you're going to play the scale at three more tempos. So for the ascending direction, you're going to want to do it first without the metronome 90% confidently or higher, and then one time at five tempos after you've tapped the tempo. And then you're going to write this tempo down that you reach in your tracker, and then you are going to practice the descending direction much slower. So you have to repeat the whole process going down. And especially for the melodic version of the scale, which is different going down than going up, you have to be very careful and do some homework before you just start practicing. So going down, you have A natural, you have G natural, you still have 4 on F sharp, okay? I'm going to say 3 on C sharp, 4 on F sharp, 3 on C sharp. Okay, so remember this process from the ascending direction that I did, right? Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. 4 on F sharp, 3 on C sharp, 4 on F sharp, 3 on C sharp. Okay, then I'm going to play the scale descending, saying those sharps and fingerings. 4 on F sharp, 3 on C sharp. sharp, 3 on C sharp, and. Now if you're making a mistake with the fingerings on another note, not necessarily the sharps, then you can absolutely call out the note and the fingering that's supposed to play that note where you're making a mistake. So I think a common mistake for B minor is not doing one on B, okay? So, 4 on F sharp. 3 on C sharp, 1 on B, right? And if you make a mistake, you do your mini drills again. So, um, and then the process for doing it with the metronome is that you wait till you play it at least 90% correctly, conf or 90% confidently, the whole scale going down, you tap your tempo, you practice it one time at five tempos. Okay, now at that point, you would practice ascending and descending without the metronome. Right? So you're noticing a pattern here that you always practice the current step without the metronome until you reach a high degree of confidence, 90%, or full confidence, 100%, before you try playing with the metronome. Okay? Follow that process, and I'm confident that you can learn any scale in one day. Happy practicing, and I hope this helps. Leave your comments and questions below. Thank you.